Hello there, my little French fries. How are you? It's wee Paddy from across the shock. And I've got a wee Tucson video for you. I haven't had a Tucson video for ages. It's been a long, long time. Um, I've got a few Tucsons and I love them. They're just great nice. They're just, like everything else, they just make too many. And I don't want too many Tucsons. But I have really enjoyed the ones I have. So what have I got for you today? First time, I've got a Tucson that's a slip joint. But it's a gentleman's slip joint. It's the T252 in Damascus and Snakewood. Now, this is Tucson, Damascus and Snakewood. I, this excites me. Now, this was a gift from one of my subscribers. Um, I am over the moon with it. I really am. It's just a beautiful knife. So, without further ado, I'm going to stop waffling and show you what it is. And boom, boom, here it is. Look at that beautiful snake wood. Isn't that just gorgeous? My snake wood's very hard to show on camera. In daylight, this stands out like a sore thumb, but this sort of light, my lighting is not the best anyway. It's as good as I'm going to get, but it's it's not the best. But isn't that just beautiful? And you've got, um, it, I think it's nickel silver. But they've been brassed or something. I'm not sure. Maybe it's brass ends. It's very hard with Tucson to find out exactly what they're made of. So this one isn't in stock. So I wasn't able to go back and have a look. And the reason I'm showing the video is there is another one. But it's in buffalo horn. And it looks stunning. Same thing, Damascus, but buffalo horn. It looks amazing. And we all know what buffalo, buffalo horn's like. Especially if you get a really nice figured bit. But for a matched pair of snakewood handles, this is absolutely stunning. I love it. Um, now, I'm just going to open it. You've got a lovely lanyard hole there, which I thought this was going to interact with, but it doesn't at all, thankfully. Listen to that. It's not just... No, it's not a half stop. It's like a, a bit of a mushy half stop, but that's not a problem. Listen to that snap. And there's no blade wrap on this knife whatsoever. And I, well, the first time I slapped it down, I thought, surely there has to be. No, there's nothing. I can show you that. There's nothing there whatsoever. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. And that Damascus, how well done is that? Now, when I tell you what price, well, I can only know the price of the Buffalo Horn one. I don't know whether this was the same price, but I would say, Maybe snake would a wee bit dear, but I wouldn't care because I'd pay more than what the buffalo horn one is for this. I didn't expect. I've seen this on. Now, I got these from AliExpress. I've seen them on AliExpress for years, but I thought, no, it's a wee bit too dear. I'm not sure the quality is going to be that good with Damascus and snake wood. I'm not going to spend that money unless I was sure. Because for me, even 50 quid is a lot of money. And that's what price the buffalo horn one is. But... There's a sale on an AliExpress at the minute, and the Buffalo Horn one is £38. All you do is you go onto two, you go into AliExpress, type in Tucson, it brings you up a list of Tucsons, go down to what you want, the Buffalo Horn one, £38. Don't know how long the sale's on for it, so I wouldn't hang about if this is something you would like. But as far as a piece of cutlery, look at that fit and finish. Look at that fit and finish. It is beautiful. Let me just show you the blade centering. Does not sound as if the blade's been slapped. But look how beautiful that is. Let me get it around this way. There you are. You can see that, can't you? Right down the hay diddle diddle. And it's a pull open with your finger. You have to pull it open. There's no notches, nor does it need it, because there's plenty of room here for you to get your finger in and pull it open. But it locks open lovely. There's even a lovely forward choil bit here. So you can get your finger right up in there. So that's completely safe. Did I show you that? It's completely safe. It's not going to stick in yet whatsoever. A gorgeous gentleman carry. Can you imagine going to church for that? Can you imagine going out to a dinner for that? Because you can take that out and use it for your steak if you wanted to. Don't think I would because I think this is just too beautiful to ruin that Damascus. I don't know how... I'm not sure what Damascus is like. You know, does it stain as bad as... I, I'm not even sure. I don't think Damascus is carbon, is it? But you can let me know down below if you know. I just genuinely don't. But I just think the TS252 is just beautiful. So Jason Guilfoyle, I thank you. I seem to do that an awful lot to you, but I genuinely thank you. It's beautiful. I really, really have 
been really enjoying it. And this is a lovely little, I haven't put a, I might actually put a wee leather thong on it, but to be honest with you, it's so comfortable in my hands. If I put a leather thong on that, I'm going to feel it. So I don't see the point. It's not going to be a knife that I'm going to pull in and out of a pocket as a sort of normal EDC. I wouldn't use this as a normal EDC, but I would certainly use it going to a wedding, going to a funeral, going to a, you know, for a meal or, you know, going out somewhere nice where I'm going to have nice pants on. And if I do have to have a knife, how much? I mean, there's a talking point at any table. That really is just stunning. I think the fit and finish is brilliant. And to get one with buffalo horn for £38, I just think, snap your hand off to get that. It really is. So that's about $50. That is a tremendous price for Damascus. Now, how good is Damascus? Do you want to know something? I don't know. I haven't tested it. I'm probably not going to batter it. Because it takes, it's got a wicked edge on it. It came with this wicked edge. It is absolutely fine for any sort of cut that I want to do with this knife. And it goes back to that old thing. What blade steel do you need in what knives and when? Most of the time I just need something that's going to do one or two cuts, three cuts. And back home again I can sharpen it if I need to. Strop it. But I am over the moon. Even the pins on this are just beautifully done. Um... You can feel them a wee bit. It's maybe not, you know, it's not GEC standard. But then again, it's not GEC prices. You don't get a GEC for £38. You also don't get a GEC in Damascus that I know of. Maybe you do. I haven't seen one and I certainly wouldn't be able to afford it if it did. So, but there you go. Jason, thank you very, very much. This is really interesting. This is not just for slip joint guys. This is for anybody who's going out for a meal and you want something non-threatening. You want something, if you bring it out, it's going to involve a conversation. I'm just going to double check. You see, I haven't even done that. I'm just going to double check, but I'm sure it's UK legal just going on my eyes. It's under, well, there you go. It's under three inches for the full blade, but the law is the cutting edge and it is bang on two and a half. So a UK legal, anywhere legal that I can think of, that's just, listen to that snap. You would swear there would have to be, and there's not, it just doesn't go anywhere near it. It just sounds gorgeous. So there you go, folks. A beautiful knife. I highly recommend it. Go over to AliExpress. Yes, you'll probably have to wait six to eight weeks. Sometimes if they have them in the Netherlands, if you're in the UK, you can get them in two weeks, which I have done, you know, sometimes. Very rare, but sometimes you do. But there you go. It's a slip joint. Perfectly legal. Customs can't take it off you, uh, even if they do stop you. But they put a silly price on them when they come through, so you're not going to get charged that much. So there you go. I just think it's a bargain. So I'm going to try it. I'm running away very quickly there. Why am I running away? Why are you scaring me? Here is another knife. Here's a boy's knife. There's a number 15 uh, GEC. This is also in snake wood. Oh, it's a lot darker than this. So it just gives you a rough idea. This is just a bit bigger than a boy's knife. And uh, what have I got here? I got a buck 55, which is another, I think, a classic looking knife. Again, it's a bit bigger than the buck 55. But the one that my posh friends will know, I haven't got one. This is just a copy, is a Monundi. Bought from the same company. <laughs> but it's about it's about the same. It's not even a quarter of an inch, about an eighth of an inch smaller than a Monundi. So you have a beautiful knife and even better materials than that. I just think that is outstandingly done. There you go, Paddy's away, another wee quick one. My gosh, you're getting good. There's not even double minutes up. All the very best. Cup of tea time.